Street Safe, Street Smart is an installment in the Mickey's Safety Club series. This was released originally in 1990 and actually, quite wonderfully, it stars Leonardo DiCaprio. He plays one of three children who are learning about street safety. And to be honest, I wish Mickey had a more important role in this because while they're in his safety club, they're actually using the help of a computer called Flip. And this computer is this giant machine and you press different buttons and it shows scenarios of things that could go wrong if, for example, you don't look where you're going. Also, quite scarily, but very beneficially, it talks about what to do if you think somebody's following you. The little boy in this, um, not the one DiCaprio was playing, but another little boy thought that a car was following him and it explained what to do and how to ask for help, including using a telephone from a phone box. Uh, and it never occurred to me until just now, but phone boxes, at least in the UK, are becoming increasingly obsolete because people carry mobile phones. But what about children? Because young, young children shouldn't have mobile phones. And one could argue a young child shouldn't be out on their own away from home that they would need a phone box, but you never know. Or they could be a, you know, a 10, 12 year old out on their own. Maybe the battery on their phone dies. They need to contact home. On the off chance they know their parents' phone number, how are they gonna phone home without a phone box? So it actually really made me think about how this in particular might not be as useful today because society doesn't lend itself to children being safe outdoors anymore. Instead, they're either carrying phones that may get stolen, they may get mugged for their phones, or they haven't got a phone but no way of calling home. And that's uh, not something I ever thought about until I watched this. So it was quite thought-provoking in that regard. It also taught me that there are, or were at least, Places where 911 wouldn't work when they were using the phone, the instructions were to call either 911 or zero in an area without emergency number. I never, I never knew that was a thing. If anybody has any more information about that, please feel free to uh, enlighten me because that's quite interesting. But even though it may not be fully relevant or as helpful today as it would have been back then, there are obviously still a lot of useful things in this and... Um, some really good examples of the different kinds of safety. As I said, I think Mickey should have had a more important role in it. I think Mickey should have been the one to deliver the information rather than this computer. I know they were using this computer to seem like it was high tech for the time and engaging and exciting for children to watch, but I feel like it would have been more engaging if it was Mickey and also more meaningful as I feel like children are more likely to listen to Mickey Mouse than they are this random computer. So I feel like that could have been done better. I, I, I've only seen a couple Mickey's Safety Clubs, so I'm not sure if this computer features constantly. I hope it doesn't, but I can see why they decided to use it, but I, I think it would have been better with just Mickey and you know Mickey using a computer screen to show the clips rather than giving this computer a personality. But that aside, it's obviously full of a lot of important information, most of which, is still relevant for today and still very useful and can provide children with a lot to think about, but also us as a society about how safe or not we are making our streets. I know it's 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 not unusual for generations above mine to talk about how they used to play outside late at night, they'd leave their doors unlocked and how, you know, my generation that we couldn't do that. And then things just seem to be getting less and less safe as generations go on. Or maybe it's more that we're getting more and more aware of dangers. Perhaps that's more accurate. But I still never thought about the whole phone box thing. I used to. I used to go into town by myself when I was about 11 years old, um, maybe 12, and I didn't have a phone at the time. Or if I had a phone, I didn't have credit on it. And if I had to phone my father, I'd use the pay phone. And if I didn't have money, I'd do 0800 reverse. So absolutely, they were something that I used and um, benefited from. And if that was the case now, I don't even know when I last saw a payphone. I think there are still a couple of them, but um, not many. So definitely something that we as a society can, can think about with this special and how we're taking away things that, yeah, adults may not use, but maybe children might and children don't always get a voice. So definitely some food for thought there. 
definitely worth watching if you're a Disney fan, if you're a Mickey Mouse fan, and I guess if you're a Leonardo DiCaprio fan. I don't like the computer aspect, but I can see why they included it. But ultimately, it's not a bad little educational short.